Kanika is asking when I go to sleep body is resting and mind is aware of body for a while then only awareness of being will be there no thoughts no body just awareness is this an experience of mind or awareness in sleep yes this is awareness in sleep you can call it an experience of being aware in sleep because experience of mind means it is present all the time there is no other experience except experience of mind so if you are aware in sleep which means no thoughts no senses no body and still you can perceive that i am here this absence is known at the time then it will be called awareness in sleep although there will not be any reaction in the form of thoughts or speech or anything there won't be any activity but there will be awareness this awareness is actually an activity this is a very small minute activity but because it is not like our everyday activity we think it is nothing those who are doing the uh, dream experiments in tantra bodhi they will get this experience sooner or later and those who are doing the waking state exper- experiments in step number 4 of this program they can also get this kind of experience because if you are aware most of the time in the day then this will become your habit and you will witness the sleep also and you will find that sleep is not uh, inactivity it is not absence of everything is complete presence there and yes it is also an experience that is changing so continue your practice very good very good progress kanika is saying i felt the same that just being is also an experience yes if you are experiencing it something whether it is absence presence it is still experience it is still mind only although it is a different kind of state you should not call it nothing that there was no experience in the sleep no it is not possible that supports our conclusion in the chapters on experience analysis that the experiences never go away just like the experiencer experiences are also continuous there is no end and there is no beginning of experiences there is an end of states and when the state and the waking state ends the ignorant person thinks that experience end and some ignorant people think that the experiencer also goes away in the morning when the body returns like the experience of the body returns they think that the experiencer returned then they assume that the body was there present in the night i was not aware of it but they apply a reverse logic on the experiencer that the experiencer was absent somehow this mistake is made same way experiencer was also there the world was also there mind was also there but there was no awareness of it it was not known it was not getting recorded in the memory so these small experiences will verify what we get from the program directly that the experience is eternal timeless nothing goes away it's all continuous presence existence and it is bliss also because in this kind of state which she is talking about there there is no suffering and there is no happiness also and there is there are no desires most probably there are no uh, distractions of the world this is called bliss bliss is the background state of the mind Bl- bliss is the natural state of existence so this sleep is the closest experience to bliss bliss is not an experience it is my nature but this sleep where you are aware gives you a glimpse of the bliss that i am in the form of an experience and that is why sleep is so blissful that is why you want to go to sleep and you don't want to get up from sleep or you some if you if you wake up somebody from sleep the person becomes irritated and then why do we wake up because the mind is never asleep as soon as the sun rises its tendencies they start increasing finally the desires take over the desires become so strong that this bliss state or the sleep state is broken this is the whole story and it is very amazing and you are so fortunate that you are witnessing it right now because most of the population does not even know what we are talking about it complete ignorance in people if you reduce this ten- these uh, uh, attack of desires 
then you enter the dissolved state dissolved state is what i think version 3 people do not know this because it is shifted to tantra bodhi now but version 2 people and tantra bodhi people know what is dissolved dissolved state absence of all these distractions but i am there <laughs> i am still there some people may want to call it nirvikalp or distractionless state this is most natural we are already dissolved in this dissolved state on top of this dissolved state comes all the tendencies and they go away they are strongest in the morning wake up the body they the body does all the actions that the body does because of your engagement with the world the mind continues like a machine it's very very active then it all goes back to dissolved state which is the natural state and why why this happens every day why is their life because st- the, the reason is same desires if the desires are too many next birth the reason is same activity of the mind is the reason for any kind of worldly experience what happens if the desires become minimal no birth there is no need to engage in the distractions there is no need to engage with the illusion this is dissolved state how to get into this state you are already there just realize this and then engagement with the distractions or illusion fades away it is as good as not happening because it's already not happening it is an illusion it is a dream waking state is also a dream dreaming state is dream sleep is absence of dream but it is all illusion it is not there really so this dissolved state is present right now because of ignorance it looks like that i am changing my state but i am not changing anything i am changeless so if this play keeps happening which will happen eternally no end no beginning then um, there is no problem you are blissful already this is the realization it is very easy to realize this thing and then whatever happens happen your waking state will also become like this if you remain in knowledge that means if you remember the knowledge whatever i am saying is your direct experience isn't it so remember this and do not get engaged in the illusion too much only if it is needed then come back in awareness and your life will become blissful even if there are troubles in life you will realize that it is all an illusion you will remain steady even if there are more births no problem at all if your tendency is to get knowledge that tendency will manifest every time you are born so that is why we are doing the practices otherwise it's all completely blissful perfect already do the practice so much that it becomes your nature this must be your passion waking dreaming sleeping 24 by 7 only one tendency should be there which is awareness it is an activity just like she said and if that is the dominant activity in your life all of your birth will happen all the future births will happen in awareness that is the importance of practices practice will not give you extra knowledge and it will not make you anything bigger than human you are already the brahman you are already the biggest it will ensure that the ignorance will not return so there are many ways to do practice but uh, the basic teaching is given in step number 4 this should become your full time job although it is not a job it's simply state of mind and jharna is saying uh, needs liberation evolution it's also desire how to manage such desire just like you manage every other desire you try to fulfill it by whatever means are there by uh, according to your uh, capabilities if there is a desire you should try to fulfill it if it is necessary it will happen so managing the desire does not mean suppressing it even if it is a desire for evolution liberation no it is not my desire it is the desire of the universe universal not mine it is the desire of the existence it will happen no matter what so how to manage it do some effort find out why liberation is not happening why evolution is not happening or how to speed it up because it is impossible that it is not happening it is happening probably it is slow why it is slow because of some impurities by because of some unfulfilled desires they take up a lot of your time waste a lot of your time and you are stuck somewhere in the evolution so all we can do is clear the hurd- hurdles then the, it looks like the, the evolution speeds up is naturally going there so how to manage continue your program so everything is given there subodh is saying while staying as the experiencer it becomes difficult to react i used to i have to think how to have conversation how to move my body then there is fear also what to do 
it is very simple formula what to do become aware become a witness you are saying that while staying as experiencer this is happening so let it happen just witness so if there is a need to react there will be reaction become witness if there is no need there will be silence what to say yes there will be a little bit of gap because you are aware no mechanical speech now so if there is a need to say something you will say it automatically it happens and uh, if there is no need there will be silence if there is a need to move the body the body will move you don't need to do it in some special way there is no special way to do an action the usual way and if there is fear emotions anything at all in the mind just become witness they will come these uh, activities of the mind they will come then they will go away if it is very necessary there will be an action so the question of what to do is the answer to this question is do that which is necessary do that which you like and be the witness that is what we do and you will see that it is not done it is happening if you be the witness then the necessary in whatever this organism likes is happening already nothing special needs to be done so when we say do the necessary do whatever you like is actually not an action it is already there already the necessary things are happening already whatever you like to do happening is happening so it is not an instruction it is already there realize that this is all there is that is all is happening nobody is doing it there is no doer so there is no question of what to do there is a witness so you can remain as witness there, there are no other options actually nothing special needs to be done i want to continue and more things are there that are unknown desire to know yes you can continue <laughs> what else is there in the life of a seeker keep seeking try to know this try to know that if you want to continue you can then that becomes your choice those who don't want to continue they are happy with whatever they have they are the, they are the whole existence now you should be happy with this much but no you want more so more will be given so totally depends on how much energy this creature has if this creature has a lot of energy then we need to do something and then the job of the guru is to give you something to do and exactly that is given which speeds up your progress because if i don't give you anything and you have energy left over energy then probably people will start doing the same worldly things again they will not evolve that much they will repeat whatever they are doing since many many births so the job of the guru is to give something different to do that is after the program right now you do only that which the program is telling nothing else i am also doing the same there is a lot of energy but i don't do the only difference between ordinary person and a seeker is the seeker will not do anything worldly not many only that is that which is required and a seeker will do exactly that which their guru is doing that is the meaning of having a guru having a guide that i don't do anything unless my guru tells me you do this from today okay sir don't do this okay because we know what the guru says is for our benefit that will make you progress fastest sometimes we have our own individual desires so that is also okay but then you should be so wise your intelligence should be so much that you should know what will be the consequence of that action is it's not bad that you yourself want to do something the guru will never say don't do it the guru will say this will be the consequence so that is why seeker is then completely devoted to guru because that is the optimal method that is that will maximize your progress nothing else yes sometimes you will want to do other things and the guru will tell you these are the consequences and you say no problem i i'll take the consequence i need to finish this desire i need to finish this work and then the illusion starts again but the guru is always there to support ensure that you don't have conflicting desires i want to progress but i also want to do something which is stopping the progress and then there is a conflicting desire so that is not recommended but if some you are doing something which is in, increasing uh, which is accelerating your progress then always do it do not even think about it you need to do it so what are the actions that will accelerate your progress 
and in my experience and whatever i am doing there are only two ways first is purification second is service they are the fastest possible way to progress and you will be given the same if you are interested if you don't have the energy some people are very very content they are very silent oh i know what i am now i am blissful progress will happen like you said yes progress will happen if you are blissful so there nothing is given to them anup is asking can you please talk about memory bridge and how to strengthen it it means that you are able to recall the events of one state in another state and the only way to strengthen it is by practice where are these practices they are in tantra bodhi not on path of knowledge on the path of knowledge there is no practice so the exact methods will be given to the practitioner after initiation which means after theoretical knowledge so right now you can understand it as ability to recall events of one state in another state for example when you are in the waking state you can recall your night dream and we can say that there is a bridge now between the waking state memory and the dream state memory same way if you are dreaming and you are able to recall waking state events who you are in the waking state what do you do where do you live what is your phone number then we say that there is a bridge between waking and dream and same way other states many states so this is this capability is absent in most of people why this is needed it is not needed like i said nothing is needed except knowledge but those who are interested they keep doing this kind of practices and it is somewhat useful it is useful when the state changes to death and ordinary people they forget everything when they die and when they there is rebirth again they forget everything and the reason is no memory bridge this must be everybody's experience that you heard that there are many births and the death does not destroy the individual also it does not destroy me but this uh, collection of memories which we call individual is also not destroyed only the body is destroyed everybody heard these things but you do not have any evidence many people do not have any evidence that is because there is no memory bridge between the states some people may want this kind of evidence some people may want to use the memory bridge to stop their birth or to accomplish a desired birth it is possible and they do the practice to memorize these things to recall the event so the, the these techniques are given to those who are properly on the path not to everybody then why do we keep telling them that there is a memory bridge there, there are states there are memories of different kind so that they are not in complete dark so that those who have the potential can explore and progress if i don't even tell that there are such things nobody will even try because the ignorance is complete there is ignorance of ignorance also not only we don't know we don't know that we don't know these things normally person thinks i know everything this is double ignorance so sometimes you mention these things without providing any evidence without providing any techniques and the reason is only this much to bring you face to face with your ignorance now any curious person will want to know what is this thing how to do it and this is how they progress then why can't we tell them all the techniques not everybody can do it everybody cannot do it it will take many years who knows 10 15 20 years to even recall your dreams properly and so nobody wants to do it because it is hard work so it is not given so right now for you it will be uh, it is only this much is useful that the states are continuous and uh, only the lack of memory recall makes them appear discontinuous one state ends other starts like this this is the experience right now this is because there is no memory bridge or there is no recall and with practice and being in awareness awareness is needed otherwise nothing will be remembered you can change this natural way of life because it is very natural to forget this organism remembers only very limited things which are necessary for survival beyond that 
nothing is remembered you can change it and it will take a long time and it will take continuous practice only few people can do it and that is why we have removed uh, all these practices and uh, even theory is removed from the program and it is all now combined in a more systematic program which is tantra bodhi so it looks like all the questions are answered we'll end today's meeting here keep going in the program that is the first step so thank you everybody for attending today's satsang i'll see you next time